I study what makes things funny and what makes things cool. More broadly, I look at the effects of consumer behavior, especially um, behaviors related to the meanings of products or actions and their effects on emotions, on consumers' well-being, what makes people happy or better off. To me personally, I think these are very important topics that have not been studied much in the case of what makes things cool. There hasn't been a whole lot of research that's looked at that question. And with humor, there's been a fair amount of research, but I think it's missed some pretty important aspects of what drives humor and comedy. Things are funny when they're unexpected. And that works okay for jokes, but if you look at a broader set of comedy or things that are funny, including tickling, chasing games, puns, um, satire, insult humor. Yeah, being unexpected doesn't do a very good job of explaining why something might be funny. This question of what makes things funny is that there needs to be a benign violation. But at the same time, the person who's experiencing this, who's hearing the joke, or who's hearing the insult, or who's being tickled, needs to, needs to see that violation as benign. Some of my research looks at the question of what makes things cool. By things I mean people, products, behaviors, trends, um, anything that would be considered a, a cultural object. Being cool isn't easy. Uh, people want to be cool, but it's what I'm finding with my work is that in order to be cool, people, and also brands and products, need to be autonomous. You need to show that they're not simply following orders or doing what's expected of them. You need to sort of move the, tr move the norm in a way that others see as valuable, or at least not harmful. And so as a result, coolness, what it does is it drives positive change in society. I'm not funny and I'm definitely not cool. I study what makes things funny, what makes things cool, so I can try to be a little bit less unfunny and uncool myself.